Kylie here. I'm so glad to see you. Uh, we're going to spend some time today in worship, finding a great place to spend time with God in our homes. Now, I'm hoping that to your home, you had delivered a, a box that looks something like this. It's a small pizza box, actually, covered in a green felt. Uh, but don't worry, if you didn't receive that, that's no problem. There's a few items that you're going to need for today, and I've uh, included those in the email that sent this uh, video. And so you'll be able to round those up quickly and easily. They should be in your home. Uh, but before we get started, we're also going to need our Bible. So if you have a Bible in your home that you like to use, maybe it's a children's Bible or maybe it's an adult Bible, you're going to want to get that. So we're going to need our box and our Bible. And how about you take a second now to round that up and then we'll get started. Well, as we get started today in finding a place uh, and making a place where we can connect closely with God in prayer, I want you to open up your box if you can, and inside you're going to find three bags. I'm going to ask you to take out the bag that has a letter C on it. A letter C, I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera, but if you need some help maybe with someone who can read, but that's what a C looks like. So find the bag that has the letter C and take that out and then you can close up your box. And we're going to use this special place. All right. Well, when we are spending time with God, it's nice for us to know that he's always with us. So wherever we are and whenever it is, we can always draw close to God. But in our homes, it's nice to have a very special place for prayer. I wonder what would be in our special place. I've set this kind of tabletop for us. It's got a nice green felt on it. To me, whenever I see green, it reminds me that we're always growing and that God is always active. So I hope you can find a, a prayer place, a special place for prayer that allows you to remember that God is with you always and you're always growing. Next thing is, I like to have my Bible in my special place when I connect with God. Uh, it's The Bible holds all the stories uh, about Jesus and all the stories about God's activity in the world. Now you'll notice if you have a special Bible like mine, that the pages are very delicate. And so it's not the same as any other book. We have to be careful with it and gentle as we turn the pages. So we also want to carry it with care and make sure that we're always treating it nicely. I'd like to find a special place for my Bible at our prayer place. So I'm going to leave it right here. Another thing that might be nice to have in our prayer place, our special place for prayer, will be inside the bag. I wonder if you could pull out something like this. We call this a cross. And a cross reminds us that Jesus is our friend, <clears throat> but that Jesus also is our savior. And so he's, and he's made a way for us to draw close to God. So when we're in our special place for prayer, it's good to remember that Jesus has made this way. I like to have a cross in my special place because it reminds me that I'm welcome here. I'm going to put that cross right there. And then another thing that might help us in our special place, you'll also find in this bag. But if you don't have the bag, or again, you might have this in your home. This is a special candle. <clears throat> in our church family, we light a candle to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world and he is with us always. This is a very special candle because you can turn it on with a little switch underneath. It's battery powered, so it's safe for kids to use. So I'm going to put the light here. Again, Jesus is the light of the world and he is with us always. That's why we light this candle. Well, I think I've got my special place ready. Oh, you know what? The other thing that I always bring to this special place is me. I have the stories of God. I have a reminder that Jesus has made a way for this. I have the candle that reminds me he's the light of the world and with me always. And then I bring myself to this very special place, a place for worship. Let's enjoy this light together and this place of praise for a moment. Well, I wonder what you did to enjoy your place of praise today. For me, I was giving thanks. 
I was giving thanks for you and how special you are to me. Uh, I like to wrap up my time of praise by actually saying praise uh, and giving praise out loud to God. And I wonder if you might like to learn that with me. We can use our voices, but we can also use our hands. And I have some sign language that I like to use when I praise God. So I like to praise, I just clap, we just clap. Praise to the Father. This is the sign for Father. You put your thumb at the side of your hand and spread your fingers out. That reminds us that God's our Father. So praise to the Father and Son. Son, I'm gonna start here and then I bring it down into my arms just like a baby. So praise to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, this is a fun one. You kind of make a holder with your one hand and then you pinch your, your thumb and your pointer finger together and you draw up like a smoke almost because smoke goes everywhere, right? And the Holy Spirit is everywhere too. So we give praise to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. When I'm done in my special praise place, I like to make sure I remember I turn off this candle so this light goes out, but I remember that I carry the light of the world with me always. Friends, I hope you have a great day. Be sure to keep your special praise place in a special place in your home. And if there's more than one of you, please make sure you take turns. I'll see you next week.